Hi everyone, we are on holiday in Marrakesh, Morocco, and we've actually already been here for two days, but I haven't picked up the camera. Um, so I have actually filmed a few bits and bobs, so I am going to insert them now um, so that you can watch those. <laughs> just actually just come back to the room just to grab something so I thought whilst I'm here I might give you a bit of a room tour um, so we're staying in the Rio Tequidi Palmari hotel um, I think that's how you say it Rio Tequidi Palmari I think that's how you say it um, so yeah I'll give you a tour we I think we've been upgraded because we've got like a bit of a sofa bed but I'll show you anyway. so we'll just start at the door um, as you walk in we've got a wardrobe this is actually this is not mine, this is Aaron's, and then I'm using this wardrobe here. Um, so the first one, the first door to your right is actually just a toilet. And then there's a shower room and me. Um, we have been here, like I said, a couple of days. There is a big mirror here. This is good, obviously, for selfies. Um, we've got obviously a big fan. And then we have two single beds obviously pushed together and then this is why i think we've been upgraded because when we first came in this was set up like a bed so i think it's a bit like a family room um but we don't mind it we've got like this big suite area which the other rooms don't have um, and we haven't paid extra for it or anything like that but yeah this is a good section to get ready um i did get ready last night here and yeah, it's, it's really, it is a really gorgeous hotel. And then we have just got a balcony. We're on the second, at uh, the first floor. So the balcony does just go outside. But oh, it's boiling. I think it's about, um, I, I can't really say it. Last time I looked, it was about an hour ago and it was about 36 degrees. And it gets hotter during, as it gets later on in the day here. Yeah, so Which, it's pretty hot. Uh, last time I looked, it was about, 37 i think um erin looked earlier on and yeah it's about 37 degrees so i'm just gonna it's about 37 degrees and that's an hour ago and it gets hotter as it gets later on and then it gets cooler you know like when you go to like spain and things like that it's usually about 12 o'clock one o'clock when it's hot whereas here it's like three four which makes no sense to me but yeah oh So you've just seen we've been for a camel ride in the desert so we've just got back we've had a drink in the bar um really needed a drink we were only gone for about two hours it's um, a two we've, we've come with two so it was like a two trip um <clears throat> i enjoyed it i did enjoy the sightseeing there was uh, we were walking through like the desert area and um a bit of a village 
So I enjoyed that aspect of it and it was the experience where we were drinking mint tea in a village um, that was made by the locals and obviously we sat with them and that was really wonderful and lovely. Um, but the camels, I think it was probably a little bit naive of me to think that they'd be really looked after and would be like pets in a way. Um, I really love animals and I kind of went with that aspect in mind that I love animals and I wanted to see camels and really experience like a camel trip and it just it was it was wonderful don't get me wrong the the camels they were not malnourished or anything like that but it's just not the way that I think maybe just English people treat animals um so it, maybe it's a cultural thing I'm not sure and I wouldn't like to say um but yeah I did enjoy it and if if that's something that people like to do, then I would recommend you do it, especially in um, places like this, like Marrakesh, um, maybe like Agadir, which is in Morocco as well, and like Egypt. But um, if you are a bit like me, where you really feel sorry for animals, um, I'd recommend to not, because I do feel a little bit guilty about it now. Maybe. And what do you eat? Morning. It's Wednesday today, and we are having a pool day. I'm just walking. I'm actually having a bit of an explore because we've not been this way yet, and I think there's some. Basketball courts. What's that say? Oh, private. No. Nope. Um, yeah, I think there's some basketball courts, so I'm gonna have a look around here and see what there is. But yeah, we're having a pool day today, um, and I can't wait to dip in the pool. <clears throat> but yeah, we're having a pool day today. We're not gonna do anything else. We're not going to like a centre or anything like that. We're just gonna have a bit of a chill day, um, which I'm really looking forward to. Actually, I found the basketball courts. <laughs> It's really quiet around here, it's, quite, it's really nice. I do really like it around here. There is, I think that's, yeah, like a football court as well. I'll have to tell Aaron. I'll have to have a look around here later. Oh, it's so nice and warm. I've heard as well that it's raining in England, which makes it even better. That is so warm here. <laughs> we have basketball courts, tennis courts, and basketball courts. That's quite fun. If you've got kids. Ooh, a volleyball as well. Who knew? But that could be quite fun if you're here with like a group of people. I feel like me and Aaron just playing volleyball on his own wouldn't be that fun. Is that ping pong? Or is it... I don't, think, I don't know where you get the rackets from now. I don't know what this is. This is probably something. <laughs> yeah, there's no rackets there. I don't want to go over the orange. I've just stood in a bit of a puddle from the uh, sprinklers. Oh, it's bowls. I think this is bowls. There's some bowls there. Yeah. Erin loves table tennis, is it? Ping pong? No, table tennis. He loves table tennis. He only loves it because he's good at it, but I am not. So I might not be telling him that's here. <laughs>
are just about to go out for food. We're going to the Moroccan a la carte tonight, which I'm so excited for. Um, this is my outfit tonight. This dress is from Shein. I'm not sure whether they still sell it, um, but I really love this dress. I've taken it on holiday ever since I got it. Um, it's been on like three different holidays with me. Yeah, so I do really love this dress. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I would definitely recommend it. It's very flattering. I don't know if you can see. Uh, but yeah, it's so flattering. And then I have this bag. It is literally just a Primark bag. I think it was about four pounds last year. So it's very good. It's very roomy. Just got this little necklace on. Um, I think this was from Anthropology. Um, I actually got it as a present for my birthday a couple of years ago from my friends. And then these earrings are from Pretty Little Thing. They are really gorgeous little gold hoops. Obviously, I don't think they're not gold. Um, but yeah, I, I'll link them below if, if I can find them. I don't think they still sell them. And then obviously, I have my engagement ring. There's Aaron. I'm getting the drink. Just about to go into Marrakesh Town Centre. I'm so excited. <laughs> Morning. I'm just taking a stroll. I just really, really love the resort. It's just so beautiful, and there's turtles in the in the ponds. I think it's pond. Just like a pond. Um, yeah, there's turtles, and I'm I've got this newfound love for turtles. I don't know. I'll show you. This one hasn't got turtles, but it has got a frog. I don't know if you can see that little man there. But there's no turtles in this one. I think there was though actually when we first came. I can't see the other one. Behind. There is actually 
quite a few cats as well, which is my absolute dream. Can you really see? Oh, yeah, turtles. Can you see them? I don't know. There's another one coming over here as well. Where's he gone? There he is. <laughs> I've got this newfound love for turtles. No fish. Oh my god. This one's looking at me, can you see? <laughs> hey! Where's his friend gone? Oh, there he is. This is my favourite part of the hotel. Completely. Sometimes this is like full of turtles. But I think they're just getting out of the sun. We are just about to go out for tea. We've actually booked the Moroccan restaurant again tonight because it was so nice last time. I think it's called Rakil. Rakil. Um, so we're booked in there for 7.15 and it's half past six and we are ready to go but we stupidly thought <laughs> that we could go to the shop in the lobby um, but we forgot that it's a Sunday. <laughs> So we can't go and have a look in there. So I'm just wearing this dress from Bershka. I think, yeah, it was Bershka. Um, it was a couple of years ago. They probably don't sell it, but if there is anything similar on the website, I will link it down below. Um, uh, my earrings. These were actually from Shein. I think they were like two pound maybe. They weren't expensive. Um, and again, I'm wearing my anthropology necklace. I think it's anthropology. And I will be wearing this bag as well. Again, the Primark trusty bag and my Primark trusty sandals. And obviously some anklets because anklets seem to be my personality trait on holiday. Don't know why. Just thought I'd show you what we've got. We've got some beef and some vegetables and jeans. And then these skewers. And then Aaron's got a mint tea.
we've just been on the buggies. I don't know if you can see them actually. And we're just stopping for some mint tea. We've just got back from the buggies. Um, it was very fun. Probably 10 out of 10. The best thing that we've done so far. Um, that best excursion. I mean, to be fair, we've only done the camels and then the buggies, but we do normally go on quad bikes when we go on holiday. Um, and I would say quads are probably a lot funner um, in terms of the experience because you can go faster, you go over dunes and stuff like that. and obviously drifting that's if you're into doing stuff like that um but yeah no i really enjoyed the buggy buggies because we were together and um, we've never really done that obviously with the quads you're on your own so you can't really speak well actually no with the quads you can go together but um usually if you go on the same one you can't really swap halfway through or anything like that so i would recommend if you're wanting to you know like chat whilst you're doing it and like have the experience completely together then 100% buggies are great um, or even if you if you share in a quad but I would definitely do buggies again um, but I think the quad bikes are probably our favourites we, we did say uh, but it was really exp it was a really nice experience halfway through we stopped off and did um, I had mint tea um, and where we stopped off it was really really beautiful um, it was a little set up and um, you know they had toilets um, they had like a scenic area um, they, they showed us around and they took pictures for everyone and they were really friendly um, and the tea that was probably the nicest mint tea i've had um, so far so 10 out of 10. <laughs> i would definitely recommend it i think it there's two different buggy experiences when you come to marrakesh for two way and um, there's one where you go further out and i think you go more into the desert whereas that one was the closer one but it was still an amazing experience i didn't, don't think we really needed to go into the desert but Maybe we will at some other point go to the go on one in the desert, but it is a lot more expensive um, and a lot further, so it's a longer drive. But I do think that the one that we did was was really great. We're just getting ready to go to Marrakesh town centre again, so we're just going to the square. It's called Gemma El Fima, uh, so we're really excited to get some shopping done and get some more presents. We are actually going home in two days, so this is probably going to be the last time that we do go. Um, so we're going to make the most of it tonight. I think we're going to try and get some food because we have been, this is the longest I've ever been in an all-inclusive and the food is getting a bit re repetitive. Um, so I just fancy some food, some good food, you know. Uh, so I'll show you quickly what I'm wearing. Um, I haven't put any jewellery on yet, um, but I will be putting some jewellery on. I've just got this vest from New Look and then these trousers, which are from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm just going to have another a crossbody. Um, my one is from Kipling. I actually don't know where it is, uh, but I'll show you later on. And yeah, just some sandals, these ones. Some trusty Primark sandals. These ones are very worn in because I've had them a couple of years now, um, but they're very trusty. They keep working and I love them. This is just the bag that I was talking about. It's just a crossbody. When I said we were going for food, we have ended up in KFC. <laughs>
It's our last day and look what the maid's done. So cute. <laughs> We're just about to go out for food. We're going to the Italian restaurant tonight. So hopefully they'll have some lasagna because I'm really craving lasagna. We're just getting a drink. Well, actually, we've got drinks. We're just waiting for our booking um, at the Italian restaurant, which is like quarter past seven. It's currently seven o'clock. So we're just having a drink before we go in. Um, but it's red hot outside. It's seven o'clock and it's 43 degrees. It's very hot. I think it's too hot actually, to be honest with you. For me, that is. Even all the staff have been saying how hot it is, so I think it's not the average temperature. Um, but we did know that it was going to be hot this time of year. But this is very hot. We have just been in the indoor pool uh, for the morning and then we did go in the pool in the afternoon, the outdoor pool. Uh, but it's just been so hot today. Um, so yeah, with it being 43 degrees Celsius right now, I have no idea what it were earlier. We didn't actually look, um, but it's just been so hot. I have no idea what's going on. It's a proper storm. No one warned us about this. It wasn't on the weather app. And no one, no staff warned us, so I don't know if anyone knew about it. But Aaron's just gone to get something to put over his head because we can't really walk out with those hailstones hitting us in the head. I mean, we might be able to, and that would be dramatic, but. It's our last morning. Uh, we do have to be out of the room for 11 o'clock. So I am just packing up. We've still got some stuff to pack away. We've got these massive bag sweets. You can't see how big they are, but they're like 800 grams. And we've got four of them. So we just need to figure out which suitcase has the most room and the most weight, because we don't want to be paying like 40 quid just to take some sweets back for people. Um, but yeah. I do have a few more things to pack and it's about 10 o'clock so we've got plenty of time but I'm just going to show you I just thought I'd show you this if I don't shut this the air can turns off so I'll shut the door so look, this is all from the sandstorm last night don't know if you can see it but the sand all over the balconies and they're on the mall I mean, I don't know if you can see the other people's, but there's sand all in the pool as well. So I don't even think that the pool will be open for a while. Um, the storm, it was crazy. <coughs> it's not something that I've ever witnessed before. So it was very, it was interesting for both of us. It was an experience. And uh, we were just running through the, the rain to get to his Italian restaurant. <laughs> But um, when we got to the restaurant, we were absolutely drenched from head to toe, like to the point where like I had to wring my skirt out because it was soaking. We still had his food anyway, and then we went, it stopped raining. Uh, we went for food and then we went for a drink and it stopped raining, so we came back and got changed. <laughs> but it was definitely an experience. I'm not sure if it's something that is common actually in Morocco. I hope so, um, and I hope people are used to it. Um, because otherwise, because there was the umbrellas and some of the canopies are broke at our hotel. So I'm hoping that people are used to it um, and it hasn't caused a lot of, of harm, you know, like to people's houses and people's places of work. So I was, I was thinking about the people in the square and then in the souks and the structures that are in the square, we've seen them put them up and they put them up with sellotape. So yeah, I hope that it doesn't damage people's livelihood. Um, and that people are just used to it and they are 
like prepared for it but yeah it was it was definitely an experience something that i will probably never experience again but yeah a sandstorm and then rain, rain and hail the hail i didn't i couldn't really show you but the hail balls were like this big <laughs> it was crazy but yeah definitely an experience